Hello, I'm Nurjaman Faruqi here today to show you how to train a convolutional neural network to classify vehicles. You can download the dataset and copy the code used in this video from the link provided in the description. I hope it will be very helpful in your project or research. Let's get started. Create a folder and name it vehicle classification using CNN. Inside of this folder, Create a folder for bus, one for car, one for motorcycle, and one for airplane. Now launch your web browser and search for JPEG image of airplane. Click on the image tab. Click on any of these images and save it in the airplane folder. In this way, collect 15 to 20 images of airplane. Then search for JPEG image of BOSS. Click on any of the images and save it in the BOSS folder. Collect 15 to 20 images for BOSS. Do the same thing for car. Collect 15 to 20 images of car and save those in the car folder. Collect 15 to 20 images of motorcycle and save those in the motorcycle folder in the same way. Now create a folder named dataset and move other folders in it. And this is our dataset for vehicle classification. Now launch your MATLAB. Then click on this Browse for Folder icon and locate our working directory. Now we have the dataset in our current folder window. Before taking the next step, we have to check if Google Net is installed in our MATLAB or not. Simply type in Google Net and hit enter. If you see this error message, it means Google Net is not installed. If you do not see any such error message, it means you already have Google Net installed. To install Google Net if you don't have it already, click on this Add-on Explorer link. The Add-on Explorer will appear. Click on this install and then click on this install again. Click on I accept. The download and installation will start. Once the installation is completed, close this window. Close the add-on explorer too. Now if you type in Google Net, you will see the properties of Google Net here. So, we have the Google Net installed in MATLAB and we can start coding. Click on this new script to create a new script and save it as training. First of all, we need to load the dataset in MATLAB's workspace. Take a variable named dataset, then use image data store function to load the dataset. The first argument of this function is the path to the dataset we want to load. Our dataset is in the working directory, so simply type the name of the dataset. Our dataset is organized in subfolders. That is why we have to use include subfolders and the value of this argument is true. It means we are including the subfolders. We need to label the data category. Actually, these folder names are the labels of the data category. That is why the label source is folder names. Now we have the dataset in this dataset object. Next thing to do is to split the dataset into training, validation, and testing dataset. Use a split each label function to do it. It will split the dataset 
into 70 ratio 15 ratio 15. That means 70% of the data will be used for training, 15% will be used for validation, and rest of the 15% will be used for testing. Then load the Google Net and store it in the net variable. We are going to train the Google Net, so we need to know the architecture of this network. We can analyze the architecture of this network using analyze network function. And the argument of this function is the net. Now run this code to analyze the Google Net architecture. We can see there are 144 layers here. I want you to observe the first layer. This is the input layer and input type are images. The size of the input images should be 224 by 224 pixels having three channels. But the images we have are different in size. We have to resize them according to the size of the input layer of the network. Take a variable named input layer size, then access the first layer of the network using net.layers1. We want the first two elements of the input size. That is why type in dot input size one colon two. Now we have the size of the input layer in this variable. Take a variable named resized training dataset and then use augmented image data store to resize the training dataset to input layer dataset. Do the same for validation and testing dataset. We are actually modifying the Google Net to retrain it to classify vehicles. Now the question is, which layer we have to modify? Let's have a look at the network architecture for once again. Here, 142nd is the feature learner layer. We want the network to learn the features of our dataset. So we have to modify this layer. GoogleNet is designed to classify 1000 different types of objects. And it is done at 144th layer. We have only four classes in our dataset. So we need to modify this layer too. Take a variable named feature learner and store the name of 142nd layer in it. Take another variable named output classifier and store the name of 144th layer in it. Now we need to find out the number of classes we have in our dataset. Use numl function, then categories function and use the labels of the training as the argument of this function. It will give us the number of classes we have in the training dataset. It is time to modify the feature learner layer. We use fully connected layer function to modify the feature learner layer. Store the change in a variable named new feature learner. The first argument of this function is the number of classes we have in the dataset. Let's use three dots to go to a new line. The second argument is the name and the value is what we like to call the new layer. Let's name it vehicle feature learner. Go to a new line using three dots. Next argument is weight learner rate factor. Let's set it to 10. The last argument we need is bias learn rate factor. The value is 10. The new feature learner layer has been defined. So let's modify the classification layer. Take a variable named new classifier layer. We use classification layer function to modify the last layer. Let's give it a new name, vehicle classifier. No other argument is necessary here. In order to modify the network architecture, we need the entire layer graph. Take a variable named network architecture 
and then use the layer graph function to get the layer graph of the Google Net. Now we have to modify the network architecture. Take a variable named new architecture. Then use replace layer function to modify the layer graph. The old feature learner layer will be replaced with this new feature learner. Similarly, the existing output classifier will be replaced by new classifier layer. Let's analyze our new network architecture. This is the modified network. We've got a new feature learner layer named Vehicle Feature Learner. And there is a new classifier layer named Vehicle Classifier. Close the network analyzer and get back to the script. It is time to train the network. To train the network, we are going to use minibatch of size 4. Calculate the validation frequency by taking the flow value of the number of files we have in resize training dataset divided by the mini batch size. To train the network, we have to specify several training options. Let's take a variable named training options and use the training options function to specify the options. The first argument is the learning rule. For this example, we are using SGDM, which stands for Stochastic Gradient Descent Momentum. Then, mini batch size, which value we already have defined. Maximum epoch is 6. Initial learning rate is 3 into 10 to the power minus 4. We want to shuffle the training data in every epoch. The validation data are stored in the resized validation dataset variable. The validation frequency is this value. We do not need the verbose, so set it false. And we want to observe the training progress. So plot training progress. Now we have the training options ready. So we can start the training process. Take a variable named net and use train network function to train the network. The first argument of this function is the training data. In our example, it is resize training data. Second argument is the new network architecture. And the last argument is the training options. Everything is ready. Click on run to train the network. The training has started. We can see the validation accuracy is increasing while the validation loss is decreasing. That means the network is learning properly. The training is completed. The validation accuracy of the network is 100%. It is time to test the network. Let's create a new script and save it as test network. We are going to use this script to test our network. We use classify function to test a network. The first argument of this function is the network and the second argument is the resized testing dataset. It returns the predicted label and the probability of prediction. Then take a variable named accuracy and use mean function to calculate the average accuracy when predicted label is equal to the testing dataset label. Then take another variable named index. Then use random permutation function to get a vector of integer with four values which represents the index of the images in resized testing dataset. Then take figure, start a for loop that iterates for four times. Then take a 2x2 two two subplot to plot four images on the same figure. 
read the images from testing dataset using the same index defined earlier. Then show the image using imshow function. Take a variable named label to store the predicted labels retrieved using the same index we used before. Then use title function to show the labels and predictions on the figure. First use string function to show the label, then concatenate a comma, then concatenate num to string function. The argument of this function is the max function. The argument of max function is the probability indexed from i to the end. We are interested in three digits output. Finally, concatenate a percentage symbol at the end and multiply 100 with the max function. Our script is ready. Let's test the performance of our network. Run the script. We've got 100% accuracy for each category. Let's try it again. 100% accuracy for these images too. This is how we can train a convolutional neural network to classify vehicles. I hope this video will be very helpful in your project or research. If it does, hit the like button, share this video, and of course, subscribe my channel. Thank you.